this is chakravarti family and they stay in kolkata so now they were planning a family trip and they were confused between two places which is katak and new delhi what they realized is that katak is near kolkata whereas new delhi is far from kolkata so how do we actually say that things or places are near or far what do these terms near or far actually indicate well to understand this we need to look at the length of the route which is taken so let's look at this you can see that the length of the route which will be taken from kolkata to katak is small whereas if i want to go from kolkata to new delhi then the length of this route is pretty long so what i can say is that katak is near kolkata or i can say that new delhi is far from calcutta so what is it mathematically this length of route which you take is what we call as distance so if the distance is less we say that the place is near if the distance is more we say that the place is far so this length of route taken between two places two points is what we define as distance now since they had a longer vacation they decided to go from kolkata to new delhi and the distance between kolkata and new delhi is 1440 kilometers so that is this length of the route which they had to take from going from calcutta to new delhi is 1440 kilometers so this is the distance now kilometer is a unit that tells us the distance it is one of the common units we can have distance in meters also now let us see the next problem was how do they go so they had three options they could either take a bus or a train or maybe by a plane so which of these three options should they take that was the next question now now what do you think is different between these three options what makes the difference between these three options let us look at this so if you want to go from kolkata to new delhi k to d then you could either take a plane plane takes 2 hours let's look at the train now to travel that same distance the train would take around 17 hours and now let's look at the third option which is the bus for that same distance bus takes 30 hours so the difference is the time the plane takes 2 hours the train takes 17 hours and the bus takes 30 hours to travel the same distance which is 1440 kilometers so what can i say can i say that the plane is the fastest because it is taking the least time similarly what i can say is that train is faster than the bus because to travel that same distance it is taking less time than the bus so what i observe is that less the number of hours more fast the transport is that is for that same distance since plane is taking the least number of hours it is the fastest further train is taking less hours than bus so it is faster than the bus so what i get is that fastness is inversely proportional to time that is if time is more it is less fast if time is less it is more fast so less the time more is the fastness more the time less is the fastness so we get for that same distance fastness is inversely proportional to time now let's look for same time let's say these are the three transports which i have plane train and bus all three are here let's look at all these three observe these three in one hour so in one hour you can see that plane has covered the maximum distance train is still in west bengal whereas bus is near kolkata only let's look at the second hour now 
Now after two hours, the plane has reached New Delhi. You can see that the train has entered Jharkhand, whereas the bus is still in West Bengal. So what we can see is that for the same time, that is for two hours, the plane has traveled the maximum distance. It has covered the maximum distance. Whereas the train is ahead of the bus and the bus is still somewhere in Kolkata. So what we can see is that train covers more distance than the bus. So I can say the train is faster than the bus. Plane has covered more distance than both of them. So I can say that the plane is the fastest. So what I get is for the same time fastness directly depends on the distance. More the distance that has been covered I can say more fast it is or less the distance covered less fast it is. So fastness depends directly on distance covered. So I get two things. Fastness inversely depends on time and directly depends on distance. So I can combine these two. Combining these two I can say that fastness depends on distance by time. Now I can remove this proportionality sign and removing this proportionality sign I can get an equality sign but with that I change this term and I in fact call that as speed. So we say that speed is distance by time. So removing this proportionality sign I get an equality sign and with this equality I call this as speed. So speed becomes distance by time. That is speed is the distance traveled per unit time. So remember this speed is the distance traveled per unit time or you can say that speed is the rate of distance that is covered. So we know speed is distance by time. Now from this same formula you can calculate distance also. If you know speed and time, distance would be speed into time. That is distance is speed into time. Similarly, you can find time also. Time would be distance by speed. So you can find speed, time, distance. All three remembering one of these formulas. So remember just one of these formulas and you can derive the other two from it. So now let's solve this question. Let's say that rather than going to New Delhi, they actually went to Katak. We know distance between Kolkata and Katak is 450 kilometers. And let us say they take a train which runs at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour. So now can you tell me how much time will they take to travel? That is how much time will it take for them to reach Katak from Kolkata? We know distance is 450 kilometers. We know speed of the train also which is 90 kilometers per hour. What we want to find is the time. Remember that time is nothing but distance by speed. So applying this we can easily find the time. So time would be distance which is 450 kilometers divided by speed which is 90 kilometers per hour. So I get so I get time as 5 hours. So it would take 5 hours to reach Katak from Kolkata.